Okay. I am a far, far cry from the Emma Watson we all wanted and deserved, but I will try my best. I chose Brown because of a ranking. As a senior in high school, choosing between different schools, I thought that sifting through a million different lists was the only way to make an informed decision. Best universities for future presidents was the first ranking I checked. Universities with the best food and the best parties came next. With zero presidents educated, a cafeteria named The Ratty, what's that about? And a party culture of waiting until spring weekend to actually have fun, Brown did not rank highly on any of those lists. For the record, I also Googled schools with the cheapest tuition. Let's just say that went disastrously. <laughs> but, and there's a but, Brown was at the top of every list on the happiest students in the country. <laughs> I asked myself, what do I want to be when I'm older? And happy seemed like a much better answer than president. <laughs> so I chose Brown, chasing happiness without really knowing what that meant. For four years, Brown has been our school, our community, our home, even though we had to leave campus for a third of our time here. It's where we search for that happiness, all of those rankings we're talking about. When class didn't end, even though the bell tower rang, when, when everyone knew no work would get done at the library and we still showed up regardless, when late nights became early mornings and still none of us went to sleep. One night last semester, my friends and I stayed up talking. We tried to come up with all of the things that we'd learned in college and there was a lot <laughs> together we came up with a list of seven. Seven life lessons we are so glad we know now and wish we had learned earlier. A list full of wisdom that I would like to share. Number one, perhaps now is the time to start prioritizing our well-being. Don't get me wrong, I think that partying is a totally valid form of exercise and networking. <laughs> Woo! However, <laughs> Perhaps happiness stems from learning some self-restraint. And while we're at it, I think we're a bit too old to be eating at Joe's this frequently. Guys, we're supposed to be in our physical prime right now. This is supposed to be our physical prime. I don't think the spicy with should be the basis of our nutrition. Number two, brown is low-key kind of hard. We like to pretend that we're different. We're not like other schools. We are the cool Ivy. We don't have requirements. We have SNC. Our average GPA is, Brown doesn't do GPAs, bro. Yeah. Yet our diplomas are a reflection of thousands and thousands and yes, thousands of hours of work. Work that was hard. Work that may be deep, deep down, we all wanted to do. Work that may have been harder for some of us than from others, because not all of us encountered the same barriers while at Brown. Brown was not initially built for most of us here, to varying degrees and for different reasons, but shout out for, to everyone who is still standing here making it. Mm -hmm. Happiness stems not from downplaying accomplishments, but from celebrating them. Celebrating them with joy and with gratitude. Class of 2023, own it! <laughs> Number three, cherish everyone you are who you surround yourself with. I live in a house off campus with 11 other international students. <laughs> the delinquents who just stood up. <laughs> Together, we speak 12 different languages and have lived in over 25 different countries. For most of us, coming to Brown was 
and still is full of culture shock and discomfort. But there's something about campus that makes us want to be here. When a deadline is approaching and everyone drops what they're doing to help you. When you walk around on a Friday night and see a pack full of first years lost and confused and smile at what you once were. When the sun comes out, the magnolias bloom and everyone floods the main green. It's those little moments where you get that feeling that this is how life should always be. It's the community here that makes Brown as special as it is. Generous, critical, supportive, all at once. Brown is where a lot of us found a home. And for that, I am forever grateful. Which leads to point number four. Be thankful. Thankful to our friends and peers for their love and support for seeing us the way we wished everyone else saw us too. Thankful to our teachers who make us question everything, come to conclusions, and then question those conclusions once more. Thankful for everyone else who makes Brown what it is, from our administration to our service and dining and event staff. You really are the backbone of the school. <laughs> And a special thank you to my family, who flew to the US and sat through commencement, smiling ear to ear and laughing on cue, despite some of them not speaking a single word of English. Chiquitines, gracias por haber venido, os quiero tanto. Point number five, show up for your friends. You learn to be happy when you learn to be happy for others. It's about showing up to each other's soccer games and concerts. It's about being there and cheering on at dance recitals and experimental theater shows. It's being in the front row with one, when one of your friends inevitably decides that yes, they should become a DJ. I can't judge, I made my friends sit through my stand-up comedy phase, so. <laughs> Partners may come and go, but the friendships we've made here will forever be some of the most beautiful love stories of our lives. Don't let them slip away. Life lesson number six, two to go. My senior year at Brown, I did the scariest thing I could imagine. I studied abroad in Cuba. While I was perhaps being a tad overdramatic, something I never do, it was totally out of character, most of you don't know me well enough to laugh at that. <laughs> I was terrified to leave the comfort of Brown. And yet that semester far exceeded my admittedly low <laughs> expectations. I learned to drive in a 19 Soviet, Soviet, 1970s Soviet Union car with no right mirror and uh, a f driver's seat that fully reclined every time I pressed the brakes. Yeah. <laughs> I learned to scuba dive in the Bay of Pigs. I took photography lessons in a stranger's kitchen. And somehow, I accidentally ended up on the University of Havana Student Council. My semester abroad was, ironically, my, one of my best semesters at Brown. Because that semester, I understood Brown's mission of having us gain knowledge and understanding in a spirit of free inquiry. I tried so many things I had never done before. And in doing so, I learned more about the world and about myself than I ever knew was possible. Ultimately, that is what's so special about Brown and our community. While here, we've been encouraged to try so many different things, challenged to think critically about what we're doing and why. As we leave the Brown bubble, it's easy to get caught up in what we're supposed to do. Work, grad school, work, family, work, retirement. The midlife crisis is optional. Let's not forget to continue exploring, to try new things, to question the straight path and, there, and then veer off of it. It's easier to quit than to start, so start now. You can always quit later. In the words of John Krasinski, class of 01, remember, before you do something special, just do something. And finally, last but not least, life lesson number seven, chase, or rather, choose happiness. 
or at least try. These past four years, I've been asking myself, why? Why are students at Brown so happy? <laughs> because we are. Not in a rose-colored glasses, everything is always perfect type of way. Trust me, our student body gets angry, overwhelmed, sad, disillusioned, and I can go on. But there's something here, something that makes so many alumni come back for campus dance, something that made happiness and the pursuit of the good life one of the most popular classes at Brown this spring, with 400 students flooding Solomon. Something, <laughs> something that makes us so sad to leave when May rolls around, especially this May. I think the secret is the lessons we've learned and the freedom we've had to learn them. The exploration, the community, the mistakes. The genuine encouragement to try new things and the safety net of each other to fall back on. It's the space to chase happiness or even choose it while we're all here. It's the times we did, we learned, we loved, we aired, we fought, we laughed. Soon enough, this will all fade into the background. Let's take these lessons and hold them and each other close. Class of 2023, I'm so proud of you, so happy for all of us. And for the record, everyone looks very attractive from up here. <laughs> Congratulations to all. And before I leave, thank you to my mom, my brother, and my best friend Mary for teaching me everything I know about love. And thank you to my friends at Brown and Beyond for teaching me everything I know about happiness. Mwah. Thank you.